Hello and welcome to Stardew Valley. Good morning, Sebastian. <laughs> Juliet. Oh. Emily. Magnus. Didn't mean to do that. You are so sweet. Let's watch some TV. Tomorrow's weather will be rainy on Ginger Island as well. And today's luck is very good. Today is Maddie's birthday. Oh, right, Coral. We've got plenty of that. Maddie, are you over here? Nope. Good morning, Jerick and Isabel. There you are. Good morning, Maddie. in our crab pots see what we've got there today once again this is completely full well more than full it seems all to the point of overflowing Nice that we have the crab cake recipe now. Let's put some things away and then uh, make some crab cakes. I need to also remember to do some sewing today. We've got those rare seeds, finally all 10 that we need. And then we also need to sow some grape seeds and tomato seeds. But first, crab cakes. Filter, ready to cook. And uh, <laughs> we need to cook this one at a time because each egg is... Uh, of a different kind. That's fine though, it's only four. Here we go, just one more after this one. And it, it does get us some more cooking exp. Put these in here and then the crab cakes in there. Thank you Snowdrop for the snails. Good morning, Gabriel. All right, you go ahead and read in peace. 
Let's go say good morning to our animals. Good morning. Almost full hearts, but not quite. So, need to keep petting those. And in here, good morning. Grab these and um, any truffles. No truffles. The fish are fine, except for the swordfish. The swordfish want five haddocks. Mm, these in here. Oh, it's full. Well, we'll sell some things and uh, make room. Oh, right. We want to save the regular eggs for crab cake making. Or, you know, the regular chicken eggs. Mm, then we need to sell some things. Let's go take a look what's going on in here. Nothing. Oh. I need to sow those seeds. But, um, there's the deluxe speed grow still on the ground in there. So I think I'm going to sow the seeds in Grandpa's shed. There's a bit of the dirt there still unfertilized so I'll put the um, hyper speed grow here I also need to sow some more star fruit seeds There we go, I think that's everything. So, hyperspeed grow down here. And we also the uh, rare seeds onto those tiles. And then deluxe speed grow. Isn't quite enough for all tiles. Let's sow the grapes. Maybe in this corner here. And then, ooh, maybe we could actually um, sow like a trellis crop in each corner. Right, so what, there'd be green bean, and um, hops, and that's that, for the trellis crops, right? Just grape hops and green bean. It's too bad that there isn't a fourth trellis crop. Would have been nice to... 
is so a few into each corner so that there's a different trellis crop in each corner. Maybe I'll just put grapes into each corner then. We'll see. I think I want to go into rich side to see what else we can build on the farm there. What do we have here? Topaz and full seeds. Hi, Pam. Now then. This way and into the odd jobs building. Hi. Summit farm upgrades. Oh, climate control. Grow any crops all year round. Hmm. Now that. Two million though. That's a lot. Spring, summer and fall seeds. Sprinkler system waters crops each day automatically. One million. K. Okay. Or area two hundred fifty thousand. Shed. Okay, well, I really want to do the climate control thing, but um, we need two million and we need a lot of seeds. So let's see if we can make 100 of each kind of seasonal seed, well, except for winter seeds those we do not need. Alright, that's the spring seeds. Now, what did we need for the summer variety? grapes and sweet peas and uh, spice berries um where is it That's right. I have the, um, I think it's from the Forage Fantasy mod that those seeds also need the Fiddlehead Fern to make. I think it's from the Forage Fantasy. 
Yeah, because it makes the fiddlehead fern slightly more available than it is without that mod. Summer seeds done. Nice. And the autumn ones, common mushroom, hazelnut, right? And uh, wild plum. And blackberry. Oops. Yeah. Okay, that's all the seeds. Now we just need two million. <laughs> it's going to take a while. But it's going to be super nice to be grow to be able to grow stuff from any season over there. There's a lot of room. Yeah, it'll be super, super nice. Ooh, maybe we'll just grow ancient fruit there. Because with the climate control, it should go... It should grow year-round, right? Just like in a greenhouse. Nice. Yeah. Oh, right. Um, <laughs> I have made the bed bigger to accommodate um, all of my housemates. Um. Let's see if we can make this work in, in any kind of nice way. there make it so that we can't put the bed next to the wall well that's not great I guess we'll have to see if we can um, make things work some other way. do with this just leave it there for now <laughs> and um, we'll see if we can find a solution some other time because the day is already getting on hello Abigail oh you remember Tristan as well
Hmm. Yeah, the day is kind of getting on already and uh, I do want to go and see if I can find this, this very pool or whatever it was where Tristan's transformation event is going to take place. I was so sure that it was the, um, oh, hello, Mr. Aguar. June, I didn't know that you have a habit of coming here. I would love to spend some time with you, but I kind of have stuff to do. Some exploring, to be more precise. I was so sure that the pool or pond that we needed for that event was the one um the one where we can go to recover our energy what's down there nothing oh is this it There are many kinds of flowers here. And uh, flowers are connected with fairies, right? There's a grave too. Ah, this is it, isn't it? So we need to come to this pond. Uh, between 11.50 p.m. and 12.10 a.m. It's already almost 5 p.m. So maybe let's wander around a bit and um, perhaps get some more hardwood. It's super exciting to have finally found the right place for that event. I mean, that has to be the, pre the place, right? There was even Tristan's gravestone there. So, yeah, that's got to be it. We'll go back there between 11.50 and 12.10. But, um, until then... Let's wander... Kill some slimes... Get some hardwood... Gather some mushrooms... What do we have here? Sign. This is the way to Aurora Vineyard, isn't it? Um, not that I'll probably ever need that shortcut because uh, I don't really go to Secret Woods all that much. But it is good to know that it's there in case I ever need it. So the fairy pool or the, you know, that pool thing, it was kind of sort of down here, this way, right? So I wonder if we've got a shortcut here. We don't. This is just a random... <laughs> Random little place with bushes and slimes in it. Um, 
8ish p.m. Let's make our way to the place where we enter the uh, pond screen and we'll empty our inventory a little we do need to get those items from storage into our inventory anyway so may as well also do this Um, let's see, mushrooms and tree stuff. And then we need to get the, the items that we need. They're in, oh, rich side. I guess that was the rich side shipping bin. Maybe, well, all right, got those, and uh, now we just wait. We need to wait like over, over three in game hours, though. So, um, I'm just going to cut to. Um, when it's time so that you don't have to endure the waiting with me all right it'll soon be time and let's go There you are. Marlin. Aww. He is nice. Yep, I've got everything. Yeah, that's what we were told. Aww. Jazz. So sweet. <laughs> yeah, I certainly didn't. Okay. <laughs> yep. 
Yeah. Maybe morning is going to be better. There certainly is going to be a lot of explaining to do or to be done. Yeah. Oh, midnight freeze. So, now that we have Tristan transformed back into, into himself, I think I might focus on getting us to that 2 million, so that we can then install the climate control on the rich side farm and uh, start growing ancient fruit there year round. That'll certainly solve all of our money problems. I wonder if we can put Junimo huts there. Probably not, right? I'm guessing we can only put Junimo huts into our Pelican Town farm, right? I guess we could go and see. Try buying one from the wizard and seeing if we can choose to place it onto the rich side farm. I know ancient fruit uh, only needs to be harvested once a week, but it would still be nice to not have to do the harvesting myself. Oh, I guess odd jobs does have like a harvesting service that we can buy, right? Hmm, that might be something to look into once we get the ancient fruit uh, growing on the rich side farm. Anyway, um, for now, thank you so much for watching this video and uh, spending a little of your time with me here today. If you like this video, please leave it a like. I would really love that. And also, please remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day. And I will see you again next time.